So let's first of all understand what is a basic difference between uh, transformers and atten uh, and BERT and what extra BERT is bringing into the transformer architecture. So let's understand. So first of all in BERT, uh, if you remember in transformers, we have uh, this encoder and decoder part. In case of BERT, we only have the encoder part. The decoder has been eliminated. Also, the encoder is trained in such a way that it achieves bi-directional training. Unlike transformers, which receives just unidirectional training. So I will discuss that later. Ki what is the difference between a bi-directional training and a unidirectional training? Uh, the third one being the goal of BERT is to understand a particular language, right? Uh, but in case of transformers, uh, we are training transformers for particular uh, problems. Like if you wish to generate a question answer system, then you are training a separate transformer. If you wish to generate a, a speech to speech conversion or text to text conversion system, then you're generating a different transformer. But in case of BERT, what happens is that uh, we have uh, two parts. One is a pre-training part and other is a fine tuning part. So what actually we're trying to do is to make the model learn the language only. So that eventually uh, in future, if we wish to change to some, if we wish to do multiple tasks, we are not doing the core training again and again. So, uh, and we are just, uh, in the end, we are just using transfer learning, tweaking out some last layers so that the training part gets reduced heavily and we can perform multiple tasks using the same model. And the fourth one being uh, the tokenizer being used is word piece. So I will discuss word piece in some of my later videos. Uh, so. As of now, these are the four major points on which BERT differs from transformer. So uh, I guess most of the points are pretty understandable, but uh, the third point can be a bit confusing. Ki what do you mean by understanding the language model? So uh, by, as I told you earlier, by understanding a language model, uh, we mean that we are trying to make the model learn the language itself so that eventually in future, if we wish to uh, perform any task on that particular language, uh, we are able to perform that with ease and not uh, to scratch any model from uh, and not to train any model from scratch. So let's talk about the structure of BERT, uh, how it differs from transformers in that case. So in case of a BERT base, so BERT also have different variants. So we'll be discussing about BERT base and BERT large. So in BERT base, we have uh, multi heads equals to 12. So if you remember in transformers in the original paper, we have uh, eight multi heads, but in case of BERT, we have 12 multi heads. Also, the embedding dimension has been increased. That is 784 from 512. Also, as if you remember in transformers, uh, the repeated number of blocks in encoder and decoder, if you remember that four layers that we're repeating again and again in encoder was six. Now we are repeating this entire block for 12 times. This is called as BERT base. Now in case of BERT large, uh, the multi heads is increased to 16. The embedding size is 124 and the number of blocks that are repeated is 24. I guess you need to uh, go back and check out my transformers video to get a better understanding.